end of week one of the micro tiny house build. Tiny house that I'm trying to build for under $4,000 in under four weeks. So my first week has been a killer. I had a cold for three days, which really slowed me down. It was raining for half of it. So I was in and out of the shed. The steel was getting wet. I was welding the rain at times, which I'm sure was terrible for my cold. And uh, I ran out of gas in the world. I had to drive 300 kilometers to get more, which pretty much killed another day. Uh, but I managed to finish the trailer, which is great. So today, taking it away, get it cleaned up and uh, give her a lick of paint. Uh, so what we've done on the trailer, we've got stands at the back there to stabilize the house. They fold up when I'm traveling. Uh, I've done an outer perimeter. I've built really solid uh, wheel guards so that I can uh, build frames on top of them. And uh, I have folded up sheet metal for my guards and only butted them up to the frame. And the way I'm going to seal that is with a high strength polyurethane sealant. And the reason for that is laminating steel by overlapping is just asking for us. Um, the sealant is paintable and really flexible and also allows me to service that sealant from outside of the house. Make sure I can keep those wheel guards nice and waterproof. Uh, I've strengthened up the wheel, uh, the, sorry, the spring hangers underneath. Uh, make sure they're nice and strong. They're like one of the first things to break in a trailer and this thing's going to be fully laden all the time. So make sure they're nice and strong. It's also ready if I do need to upgrade the axle in the spring. So I can actually build this house, weigh it, then make a decision about upgrading, which is great. Um, I have put bracing underneath to take flex out of the frame, uh, also strengthen it up and make sure that it's nice and secure, but it also takes um, any movement out of the house when I'm inside there, which is great. Uh, and then the bump out of the front here. So that's framed up with an outer perimeter, nice and strong to bolt my walls down to, and then um, a sloping floor in that. So what I'm going to do there is I'm going to laminate sheets of plywood so I get a nice, smooth, gradual sloping floor that then I can put a drain in and waterproof to my walls. So this old girl gets a lick of paint now and she's going to look brand new soon. Um, then we can put down a floor, start knocking up some frames and get this thing looking like a real house. Um, I'm really worried about budget and time on this one. I'm a week in and all I have is a bare metal trailer. I have so much left to do in the next three weeks and I have no idea how I'm going to pull it off. The frames have gone up quick, but then I still have so much more to do. It's all the fiddly stuff that just takes up so much time um, and in budget. Let's not even discuss budget. I'm on budget at the moment, but it's going to run really tight. So it's going to be interesting to see how I go. Lick of paint, put down a floor, start building some walls. Next week should be really interesting. <laughs>